it's Siva, your capital, or this. Today we'll discuss why it's so important to trade your own capital over prop firms like FDMO, my Forex funds, or any that you choose. Trading, you actually want full control over your trading account. Now, this way you have access to multiple leverage options. You can trade different strategies, you can trade news, etc. Now, by doing this, you can go crazy with your risk management or whatever you want to do. Now, this will allow you to grow, especially at the beginning. Now, when it comes to trading funded accounts, the problem that you really have is that you don't have full control over your account, meaning you can't really choose or play around with your leverage as much. You can't trade certain days. You can't, let's say, trade certain news, etc. So take mind of this and start looking at the options that you have sometimes it's actually really better for you to trade your own personal account over funded look full control is really important but people trade for money now profit sharing is a big thing now when you're trading funded accounts most of them you have to do 50 50 70 30 or 80 20. now look there's a big problem with this you are not taking away everything that you are trading so consider this and look into trading personal accounts that are on ic vantage or any other brokerage that are respectable in your niche now essentially what you're doing is you're giving a certain percentage away to the prop firm so take this in mind because sometimes trading your own account is far more feasible because you're giving zero percent profit share to anyone and you're taking home everything for yourself once you have made all your money you have fulfilled your appetite now then you worry about flexibility and time now the problem with trading with multiple prop firms or even a prop firm is that you don't really have much time available flexibility but the thing is they're tied into contracts so you have to trade a certain number of days or you have to pass challenges x amount of days so when you start trading your own account you don't have none of that so you are very flexible and you can trade any time that you want with any lot size essentially you're very flexible now let's say you've got money and time but there's a new pot fund that comes up there's a new challenge that comes they're offering better splits better capital and they're cheaper what do you do then you want to take that challenge now the problem with this is you're putting yourself under pressure so performance you play a big part now performance in trading especially when you're getting tracked can really mess up your trading so when you're trading live accounts you don't have none of that you don't have to pass challenges in fact what actually i've seen a lot of people around about 98 percent of people actually fail challenges this is where most of the people's withdrawals come out from from failed challenges so take into consideration because a lot of these problems have step one step two stage one stage two so be careful so this way trading your own account can actually be more beneficial because you don't really lose that capital if your challenge is 500 dollars 500 pounds thousand dollars thousand pounds whatever it is most people 98 percent will lose that capital the first challenge this could be due to random spread increases not knowing what to do i don't know just gambling in general so be careful and it might even be your fault because sometimes stop losses can get triggered just by spread increases and price doesn't have to even reach that price point. So be careful of this. And trading your own account, that 500 pound account, your own live capital, 1000 pound as well, is gonna be more beneficial. And how to tie this up, look, there's one big massive advantage of you trading your own personal account is that it's very easy to handle taxes. Because what happens is when you're trading other people's capital, taxation can be a very hit and miss thing. But when you're trading your own capital, you can take all your statements, your withdrawals, whatever it is, to your accountant, and this way, they can sort everything out with ease. They know there's no profit share, nothing like that. Now, this is a big advantage for most, and it all depends on what country you're in. I've been trading for 12 years now, I've tried funded, personal capital as well. Now, the thing is, I've come to a point where personal capital is so large, I don't find the need trade prop firms as really up to you and what sort of journey you're beginning with. if you're let's say starting right at the beginning i personally would not advise you to trade prop firms because the reality is you're going to probably lose your money now if 98 percent is losing the money you'd rather let's say trade your live account this is your personal account i see advantage sway markets whatever you're using now at least that way you have better risk parameters and it's more easier on you now if you're an intermediate trader you've got your own personal capital around 5 10 15 20k whatever it is then yes you can start using prop firm as leverage and when you start using this as leverage you can make big withdrawals very quick but one thing you have to understand your risk parameters must be on point if it's not you would end up blowing the account or losing that challenge a challenge money could have led your personal account to be much greater than what it is right but i hope this video helps like subscribe and we'll see you soon.